Well, hello again, farmers. Uh, it's been a little while for a, a mod review, but I'm going to be doing a uh, a return on the Gearbox mod, uh, just to kind of show a bit of a comparison between the two. Uh, one without you know, using it, and uh, one using it. So, uh, so far, the uh, the Voltra with the these are both exact same cultivators, the the 10 meter. Uh, the Voltra has does not have the gearbox mod on, so uh, it's uh, go over here for a sec. So it's got the 400 horsepower. So this cultivator here it requires 400 horsepower minimal. So this tractor has the 400 horsepower, and it does not have the gearbox mod on. And uh, this uh, the the Massey is at 300, and it's got the the gear, gearbox mod on with the same cultivator. So I'm going to be doing a, a kind of a comparison between the two, see which one would uh, pull better. So both have the uh, I think they're about uh, 15 yeah 1500 kg weights on the front. Uh, just that the model tractor is different. Uh, of course, this is the Massey 8727 with 300 horsepower. So we will just go into the Voltra here. As you can see down in the lower right, uh, the, there's the green arrow. That means no gearbox. But I can switch it on by doing uh, right shift and the colon key, which brings it on. Or I can turn it off. <clears throat> Excuse me. On and off is by turning the engine off. Otherwise, it will not work. Or you will not be able to switch between the two. So, uh, okay, we'll, we'll start this one up. We'll give it a little bit of his test here. So, this one does not have the gearbox on. We'll just lower down. And they both have four wheel drive on. That's it. As you can see, this one pulls it pretty good at 400 horsepower, no problem. At roughly about 10 miles an hour, it's pulling pretty good. Uh, with a little bit of uh, tire slippage, not not much, a little bit, but it's pulling it pretty good. Uh, there was one thing I was gonna. Uh, oh, right. I, I was gonna mention about what's. Uh, oh yeah, the working speed was 10 miles an hour, so it, they pulled that right on. So it pulled that beautifully. So we will switch over to whoops, to this one, to the Massey. <clears throat> now this one has the gearbox on with 300 horsepower it's only got four-wheel drive on struggling a little bit but it's oh wait a minute uh, there is an option of the type of transmission. Uh, what I can do is, I can see it's in transport mode, and I can switch it to the heavy duty mode. It's, it's struggling a little bit, but it seems to be handling it pretty good at uh, 6 miles an hour, a little slower, but uh, that shows kind of a comparison with that this this tractor is able... Oh, wait a minute, oh, I thought it shifted gears there. <laughs> yeah, different types of transmission cer certainly does help uh, for the pulling. Uh, 
uh, just go over to this side here. And for some reason, this side seems to be a bit struggling a little bit more. Uh, quite a bit of wheel slippage. Yeah, see, now it's really struggling, but it's uh, it's working. Must be different. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be, doesn't seem to like this cultivator too well. Now, see, the load is at a hundred percent. Okay, we'll switch back to. Oh, I keep doing that one. Now, uh. Oh, before we do that one, do this one here, let's put the gearbox mod on and see what happens here. We'll put it into the heavy duty mode. And see if this one makes any difference. The load is at 100%. But it still seems to... Uh, But it's still pulling it pretty good at uh, at eight miles an hour. Whoops. Sorry for the little. <laughs> it's probably not a good idea to have it in transport mode. It's probably better to have it in heavy duty mode where it's going to be requiring. Yeah. But there is another option, there is another, uh, I'm just going to leave the cultivator there for a sec. I'm going to try with a different tractor with a much, much lower horsepower. So we were just uh, going to do this real quickly here. So we will go with, since this is the, the last one, we've the lowest we've got so far. So we will go to, that one's 288. This one's at 288, of course. It says heavy duty. Um, max horsepower is 313. And we will try with the wheel weights. Uh, unless there... No, there's no uh, duels. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we will go with 288. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll probably go a bit lower than that. We will try... Just kind of looking at about 200 or so. Just kind of. There's a 210 for the 7700. And its max uh, horsepower is 280. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, we'll put the wheel weights. It's got wide tires, narrow tires. Narrow tires. Hmm. That gives me an idea for something later. <laughs> so, um. Wheel weights. We'll try with the wheel weights. I uh, don't need a front loader. <laughs> no. And we'll buy that one at 210. Okay, there. And we will get a weight for it, of course, uh, with the 1500. And we will put a. Let's go purple. There we go. Purple weight on a red tractor. Oh, yeah, that would look good. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, this one has the gearbox mod on. So, but we'll do a, a like I said, I do a comparison between the two on a much lower horsepower tractor. Grab the weight. And we will head to field 14. And this has a much different type of transmission. As you can see, it's shifting gears F4, uh, D4, E4, F4. Yeah, so it's got a, quite a range of type of transmission. So it's not like um, like the CVT type transmission. It's a it's an actual gear shift type transmission, which is kind of nice. Something different. Take a little shortcut. Probably did not have to go this way, but. So this is going to be interesting for this tractor to pull it. Maybe. <laughs> I see the F1 is its lowest speed. Raise that up. It's got quite a range of gears. Wow. Okay, so we will have the four wheel drive on, of course. So let's see if this tractor. It looks like this tractor will be able to have no problem pulling it. Well, only time will tell down uh, it's it is struggling ah uh, yeah at four miles an hour oh yeah I'm sorry well if you have lots of time to spare yeah it start it's making the tractor starting to drift. So the cultivator doesn't really like certain tractors, I guess. If it doesn't have, does not have the horsepower, then yeah, then it's going to struggle. Okay, so we'll switch to the to that one, and we will see if this. And there's a lot of wheel slippage and a lot of drifting. Yeah, I've bogged it right down pretty bad. But I do also have another little minor test with this tractor to do with here. Okay. Now I can switch it to, uh, oh, maybe not. Uh, it doesn't give me that option. Usually there's an option where you can switch it to a manual where you can have it set at a certain gear. And that's usually right shift and the question mark. And that, in this case, it does, does not seem to work. A lot of wheel slippage, drifting, yeah. So I think that's pretty much a. So the, mostly the basic uh, keys to be using with them uh, with a gearbox mod uh, is usually with the uh, the two brackets that are just beside the enter key and the quotes and the that uh, diagonal slash to the right uh, to the left actually. Um, those are the gear shift up and down and the power shift up and down and the right shift 
with the, the colon is to uh, switch to type of um, if you want the gearbox mod on or off. But you have to make sure you have the engine off to be able to do that. And uh, to switch to ty different type of transmission, there it's uh, right shift and the question mark. And there's also one other little feature. Uh, I can show it with this tractor over here. Uh, it's to do with the uh, with the cruise control. It has a little bit of an extra feature on that part. Okay. As you press the key, uh, the not on the keypad, number four. As you can see on the lower right corner where there's different speeds. I'm pressing the four. There's the, the like I guess that must be the harvesting speed. And then there's the, there's 18, uh, I guess field speed. And there's highway speed. So uh, all I would have to do is, I'll just set the cruise. Probably just get them going here. So I can put it, I can have it set there, and I press four again. Uh, okay. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't, but it takes a little bit of adjusting. And there. Whoops. <laughs> and then you press four again, and then you get the highway speed. But of course, you have to have it in transport mode. But then you would have to watch your clutch. You would have to watch the clutch just so it doesn't overheat. But it seems to work better if you have a Xbox controller that like has a bit of a uh, axis as a, as a, ga a gas pedal or or something like that, which seems to work really well. So I uh, think that is pretty much it that I covered um, so that's pretty much it uh, for this mod review uh, revised <laughs> uh, yeah a mod, a gearbox mod returned <laughs> so uh, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one